in the Mustang Owners Museum. It's hard to keep my emotions. It's, not, it's awesome. It's just awesome. It's awesome to see all these old cars. And their stories. So what did she say that this place, um, you get on their website and you actually list your personal cars? Yeah, these are all personally owned by people. All over the United States. From, yeah, all over the United States. And they are given to the museum here for six months. Mm -hmm. They change them out every six months. So that's really cool. So you can keep coming back and seeing the new cars. Sure yeah, a wall of nasty. Shelby's. Yeah, all Shelby. Fancy. This. And the barn find. It's super cool. It's a 64 Mustang. Vin 211. Let you pause it if you want to read it. Lowest VIN number known. So cool. Is this the one that she was saying had a story behind it? No, there's a Shelby back here that's got a story behind it somewhere. Um, hold on, let me look for it. Oh, here's the barn find. Yeah, 211. I just want to make sure that I had the right information. And all kinds of memorabilia. Shelby's is real and the other is a tribute vehicle. Without you reading, can you tell which one is real or the tribute vehicle? It says if you're a Mustang and Shelby, you'll you'll figure it out. I was looking for the answer, because I don't know. Mm, I'm gonna say this one's the real one. This is the tribute. So looking at them, you're saying the one on the right. Your, yeah. When we get back up there with her, I'll ask her, because I don't know. Are there just certain things that look a little different? Mm. So this car here, obviously it's been restored, but I'm assuming this is the original. That's the original nose cone. To it, but this car was a, um, it was found in the Hudson River in New York and it was actually a vehicle theft and it killed a woman crossing the street. The murderer was never caught. So that's pretty interesting that it's in there too, you know, part of the original car. It's a code. The owner will tell you about the car. Oh, nice. cool. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, you'll see there's, there's uh, QR codes everywhere. Uh huh. The owner will tell you about the vehicle. Oh, cool. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. So here he is right here. So I just like did the little QR code. Hi, my name is Sam Proc. I'm the proud owner of the River Snake. And the River Snake is an original big block Cobra. Uh, I've had the car now for over 50 years, but it took about 40 years to actually restore it. Uh, the information on that, you can probably find on the uh, podcast that we just did recently. It'll probably give you more in-depth than I can do it at this point. Um, 
I just. You can. I'll find the information on the podcast. See if I can't put it a link in the description. But this is. That's that's a pretty cool story. Nice story. No fake either. The real McCoy. Twenty Place is just packed full of information. Hey, look at the back end of that. It's so pretty. Oh, look at that fox. And y'all stick around on the video. Don't don't go anywhere yet because there's some really cool cars that are here year round that they have. Yeah, I'll show you um, something from Gone in 60 Seconds here in a little bit. I'm such an idiot. I just can't keep my emotions controlled. I love old cars. Hey, I hate what our government's doing is trying to kill all of these. Just trying to straight up kill everything. Look at that. Ooh, 200 nitrous. Ten Shelby Cruise for a Cause. The golden anniversary was actually owned by Henry Ford II mm -hmm. and gave it to his butler in appreciation for his service. This is one of only 50 ever built. All were built on March 29th, 1966. That's really, really cool. I like that color. FYI, Chevy guys. <laughs> Chevy doesn't hold a candle to the sales. <laughs> Ford set a record selling one million Mustangs in just two years. 
Nobody else has beat that record. Take that to the bank. And here we have Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. It's hard to read, sorry. God. So was this movie in the or car in the actual movie? One of them. Hero number one car at an auction sold for 1.2 million. It wasn't a very nice car, but it had the pedigree. Yeah. Yeah, this is This is one of the cars, I believe. I'll tell you, I'd give anything to own a car, one of so, these. So, in 2000, the remake of the classic car chase in love. this rains. So it was a remake of the classic car. Mm. But this is the real deal. None of the Mustangs used in the filming were actually Shelby's. Thankfully. Instead, they were 1967 fastbacks equipped with the same parts. So, clear that up. And I just added us. <laughs> Come find us on the wall when you get here, folks. And you're supposed to write on it, I didn't just. Yeah, they have a wall of autographs. God, I would give anything to own Eleanor. And here Ford sent them how they clay the bodies. And basically just a little model to show how they do it. And they also, in case anybody doesn't know, they clay the interiors, seats, door panels. It's all done in clay in the very beginning until they figure out how they're gonna do the interior and exterior. But it's just, and here's some tools that they use for the clay process. And here is number four. This car was used at this the World's one of Fair. 12. One of 12 cars. This is number four. And this car was used to give rides at the Ford Pavilion at the World's Fair in 1964. Look at that interior. It even smells like an old car. I love it. Stick your head in there and smell. Sixty-four Indy Pace car. There were only two hundred and twenty-two built. 
137 were convertibles, 185 were coupes. This was really cool to see. Like, look at the progression. Yeah. Ooh, they're pretty. And the raffle car that they're raffling off. And the story behind it is the husband wanted a Mustang, the wife wanted a Riviera, Buick Riviera. Yeah. <laughs> so they added a Landau top and a moonroof. Everybody says they ruined the car, but I think it looks cool. It gives it some it's different character. charm. You know, have never, I, I guarantee you, I've never seen a Mustang with a Landau top. And then Ford sent some engines down, and they are about to send, they're still waiting on the Voodoo. But they've got the 4.6 mod, which I never have been a fan of that motor. Classic 5.0. The ever so classic 351. And then the supercharged from the factory GT350 289. 306 horsepower. Zero to 16. Check out that old Paxton supercharger. Five seconds. That's cool. <laughs> Intake. What is this supercharger compared to the one you had on yours? Um. Just a lot cooler looking. <laughs> Still belt driven, same philosophy. Probably does eight PSI. But this place is just really freaking cool. Many stories of a hundred thousand and four. Way cool. Well, I think that wraps it up. Unless Jenny has some more to say, but y'all gotta come check this place out. And there's really cool people here. What is your name? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's Joan and Steve. 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 They're very knowledgeable about everything in here. Yes, yes. <laughs> y'all come check this place out. <laughs> they're camera shy but it's all good they're not shy when it's normal yeah, people awesome. here so come check it out seriously you guys if you're in the charlotte area come up a little bit north up to concord come to the mustang owners museum it is definitely worth the short drive and it's 10 bucks a person to get in and they they have just the i mean from the beginning to current history memorabilia cars they have eleanor and they change out their cars every six months so seriously you got to check it out i'm not kidding you